the most part, the uh, Bavon Beach, uh, this particular section of the, the shore here has been uh, uh, an, an active engagement of the Homeowners Association to see uh, if there's something that uh, can be done on a, a more comprehensive basis rather than an individual parcel by parcel basis, which has uh, historically been the case in a lot of these shoreline erosion control projects whereby an individual property owner uh, would uh, say that they wanted to protect their property and they'd have to uh, apply uh, through a joint permitting application and our wetlands board, uh, the Matthews County Wetlands Board, would approve uh, such an application. We hope that this potentially could be replicated again along the Chesapeake uh, uh, shore line going from the southernmost point at New Point Comfort, which is just south of us, all the way north to a point uh, that would be um, uh, in the county that's uh, uh, the entrance to Milford Haven, Rigby Island, uh, Gwynn's Island. Uh, it, it, if, it, uh, if there is the opportunity to do that, because that recommendation from the shoreline management plan identifies the same sort of system that would uh, um, be along this uh, whole reach here of, uh, on the uh, on the Chesapeake shore. We, we want to uh, make sure that the uh, stakeholders, the private property owners, and uh, the other entities, whether they be state or federal, um, uh, you know, are, are brought together this and it's not just uh, uh, solely driven from, um, uh, the, uh, from an agency as opposed to uh, having the, uh, the involvement of the, uh, uh, the local uh, property owners, which has been the case here with uh, with Bavon and, the, and uh, their homeowners association.